This video is sponsored by Uplift Desk. Fall is here and I've got some upcoming campaigns that I'm working on. So I'm out here doing a golden hour photo shoot and I want to bring you guys along and show you the creative process that goes into it. Yes, we drove out here with my bike to get ready to take photos with my bike, but not actually going for a ride. So sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get the shot. Great, but the mosquitoes aren't so but we're dealing with it Nick is shooting I'm on my bike and the light has kind of disappeared as the Sun is now behind a cloud so we're just hoping for the best and dealing with a lot of mosquitoes and we did not bring bug spray so not fun. so really simple photo shoot here we're just highlighting one product so just a super simple camera setup 50 millimeter lens my favorite to shoot on we only need probably four or five good photos for this set. So it should be a pretty quick photo shoot and we're gonna see if we can get it done. Got a POV cam and we got this camera set up on the tripod here. So you can see the whole process that we're shooting here and uh, yeah, let's get it done. So today's photo shoot is highlighting Sarah's helmet. We were doing a fall giveaway with laser so we're gonna shoot some photos for that. So highlight on the helmet also that we're riding. Um, yeah, that's kind of the concept of this photo shoot. pretty quiet road but we still deal with cars so we're checking over our shoulders and making sure that we're you know safety first we did lose that golden glow unfortunately we got the hot sun behind the cloud for the last bit of sunset but we're just gonna make do with what we have so many mosquitoes we're not prepared for this we got a car coming so there, hold it, hold it. Hold it, one more, one more, one more. There's a car coming. I got it, I got the shot. Okay, good. Yay! Super quick, but successful photo shoot. We got eaten by mosquitoes, but it was worth it, hopefully. We'll find out soon when we head over to the desk and take a look at these photos. All right, we are home from the shoot, so let's go ahead and take a look at these photos. Let's pull these photos into Lightroom and pick the best five to edit for the photo set. So typically I look for a lead photo as well as some complimentary photos to go along with that photo set. One that highlights the product and usually one that kind of shows the environment that we're in as well. So for this shoot, the main focus was the helmet, so I'm gonna look at the photos that best highlight the helmet. I'm also looking to make sure that the logos are in focus and clearly visible. That is one of the most important things about this. We narrowed it down to nine photos. 
and I want to get it down to five, so I have to eliminate a few. I think these three are pretty similar, so I'll definitely narrow that down to one, and I'm thinking one of these might be the lead photo, and then one of these second photo, and I really like this, just really highlights the helmet and the arrow shell. How swollen my ear is from the bug bites. <laughs> okay, I have a few presets that I like to use, so let's just kind of lay some over to see what it looks like. Definitely going for more of like the fall vibe. I've got the photos, I've narrowed it down to four. I'm going for a fall vibe with these photos. Probably some warmer tones. I kind of like that where it's at. I'm adjusting the white balance. I think it looks pretty good there. You bring some highlights down. And because this is for Instagram, I will crop this to four by five. I love these editing sessions, especially when I have a great place to work at that allows me to be creative and comfortable. And so that's a perfect time to thank the sponsor of today's video, Uplift Desk. So I've really been enjoying this new desk from Uplift for the last few weeks. It has a few key features that I absolutely love about it. The first thing being the tabletop. I ordered the 30 by 60 in the dark rubber wood and it is just super spacious. There's lots of room for camera equipment and for everything that I need during an editing session. I also love the sit stand feature. This allows me to bring up the desk to a higher level so that I can just stand up and switch things up. And the other thing is the chair. The chair is super comfortable. I absolutely love it. It has an adjustable headrest as well as adjustable arms. And so that just makes editing 10 times better, so much more comfortable. I am someone who likes a super clean and organized desk. And so this desk has a great cable management system that keeps all the cords together and just out of the way. It also has a nice sleek drawer. The photos are complete. They are ready to be exported and ready for Instagram. So here's a look at the final photos. I hope you enjoyed the little insight on my creative process when creating photos for Instagram. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Oh, <laughs> you